Hi, Chris here with an unboxing and quick review of the Blitzwolf 20 watt 3 amp solar charger. So this is one of those chargers that unlike other ones that I've seen on the market, this one actually should hopefully be able to charge most devices out there because I did have another solar charger that I used for when I go camping and it only output about 1 amp, about 10 watts and it just wasn't powerful enough but this here should hopefully do the trick. Now I picked this one up here from banggood.com and it was 50 US and this is the packaging that it came in so it's got some protective wrap around the outside of it and I'll just get this open alright so let's have a look So you can see there, Blitzwolf 20 watt solar charger. Let's have a look at the accessories they give us. There's a user manual. I don't imagine you really need that. You just put it in the sun, plug in the cable, and here's a, a charging cable with a micro USB. And they've given us these clips here. So we'll be able to clip that onto, for example, your backpack and have it in the sun where you charge up, for example, your GPS or your mobile within your backpack. So the overall quality, just looking at it now, seems pretty good. It's made out of like a tough fabric and Velcro. And here we have the three solar panels. You can see there. And the stitching and the material seems reasonably good. And here we have the pouch inside that you can put your mobile phone, your battery pack. And there are two charging ports there, USB. So it can output up to 3 amps apparently when using both of these. So I'm going to check it out now with my little multimeter USB adapter here to see just kind of the output I can get. It's winter here at the moment so I'm not too sure how strong the sun's going to be. But just give me an idea. So... Batteries can go on there. Of course, you do have to be careful that I noticed too once when I was charging up. This has the uh, Mi 10,400 milliamp hour battery pack. If this gets too warm, it will stop charging. So you're going to have to be careful that if you put that in there and keep it in the sun, that it's not going to heat up and get batteries or your mobile phone too hot because they could explode. Anyway, I'll go outside now and just have a look and see what kind of charge I can get from the sun. So there's the position of the sun. Hopefully if you can see this, it's a little bit hard for it to come out. I'm aiming the camera up towards the sun. But it's around 3 o'clock and there's a bit of haze around. So I'm not sure the kind of power output I'm going to get from the position of the sun. And being winter, in fact, the sun doesn't feel that strong as it would in summer, of course. So now I have a look and see what kind of output I can get. So I've got the panel in direct sunlight here. And it's currently outputting about 1 amp, or just under 1 amp, at 5.9 volts. According to the USB meter I have plugged in, it's a little hard to see. i just get a bit of zoom on that. You can hopefully make that out, that it is displaying now about 1 amp and 5 volts. Currently outputting just shy of 5 watts. Now if I angle it up, that's increasing now due to the angle that's facing the sun. So we're now at 1.25 amps, 5.1 volts. So that will slowly charge that battery, external battery pack up for me. So overall the Blitzwolf 20 watt charger looks like a solid product. Of course, I'm going to have to wait until summer, until I can really test this out. If I go on a hike or something, go out for a couple of days, I can take this with me and just check out and see how much power this will actually output on a summer's day. I'm interested and curious to see whether it will be able to output that full, at least two amps out of one of those ports, allowing me to charge cell phones and 
battery packs, for example, would be really handy when you're out there hiking. This could be useful when the zombie apocalypse finally arrives or that worldwide virus that's going to wipe out the whole world. <laughs> no, just kidding. But anyways, a handy thing to have if you are a camper and you do want power when you're out and about to be able to charge up your GPS, your tablet or whatever, then definitely think about this product because it looks like it should be able to do the job definitely in summer and winter you're going to get that slow charged as we just saw but overall the build quality seems good it folds up into a nice little pack like that and the pouches are good so overall not too bad at all thanks for watching the video hope to see you in the channel with more up and coming reviews bye for now